Hi, hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Intact Immersive HQ. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick tip on an easy way to do screen capture from your tablet to your touch sign network using NDI. If you look up in the App Store and you look up NDI, there's quite a lot of different NDI apps available. But the one I am currently using is Capture for NDI. And I find this quite well used. It is $5 in the Apple App Store and in Android, it seems like it's free, but the reviews on the Android App Store doesn't seem very high. So I'm also kind of curious on how that works since I only tried it on my iPad so far. But this is the app and I'll kind of show you how to just connect it. It's quite easy and a few tips on just making it work the best way that um, you can. So on your tablet, you can open it up and make sure it is on full NDI. It seems like the other two different Kodaks doesn't work as well in Touch Designer or it won't connect. So once it is on full NDI, you can just press on press to start. And right now it is ready broadcasting, but uh, where I said stop broadcasting, I should click on start broadcasting. And then I'm going to delete all of this so I can show you how to set up through Touch Designer. First thing, um, if your network is 60 FPS, I recommend it to make it 30 because uh, 60 FPS seems to have some tear when you have it open um, on your tablet. But if you change the FPS while it's also broadcasting, it can crash touch designer. So it should do it first, change it to 30 FPS and then put in NDI in. Once you have this NDI here, you should be able to see a source name. And you notice that it's not very nice looking. So if you change the input pixel format to be 8 bit, I'll clear that up and recommend you putting a flip just so you have the right orientation. And pretty much there you have it. Um, it's quite fast. And it just swiping through. You can use to draw, which then, something like this, I recommend to just crop out the edges if you're using it for a project. You can lock the screen if that's like something you want to use. If you want to use a camera input, then you notice that there's a lot more tearing in that. So this is better for just ca screen capture. If you want to also do camera input, then uh, recommend using a different app. Oops, that's so much stuff. Then this NDI HX camera would be a better option and then can go up to like 4K, although it is like $20 to get it. So that's it. Here's just a quick tip. If you want to have another video showing how like a project that you can use this with, let us know. It would be great to share what you end up using this tool for. Feel free to share it on the HQ um, Instagram or social and or tag me. I will share my handle in the caption below. See you next time. Bye. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials.
We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.